it's going to be better the second time around. The latter greater than the former, should I say. Welcome back to Profiting Diary. My name is Tyneek. This is your daily bread video. Everything you need to know about Profiting Diary is down in the description box. How to sign up for that one-on-one -on -one encouraging coaching call with myself. We have the 15-minute strategy calls. You have a photo shoot coming up. Job interview coming up. Just got in an argument with your boo. You need a strategy call. Call me. Everything else under our booking services. PD Society Circle. I want to see you there this Sunday. We're going to be talking about narcissists. Oh, 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 narcissism. Oh, that prideful spirit has been destroying many people's lives. But do you know it go under the radar? A lot of people don't even know that they're in a narcissistic relationship. Some of you are healing from a narcissistic relationship. So sign up, PD Society Circle. Also, this is the last month for our Single and Ready series. 50% of the people that signed up for the Single and Ready series are now dating or in a relationship. <laughs> Glory be to God, glory be to God. So you have a chance to sign up and we will have a special guest for our last Single and Ready series of the year. But no worries, we have our Esther Preparation EXP experience rolling out right after that. More tea details coming soon. The Lord gave me two words this morning for you and I'm so excited to get them to you. They are so good, but we have to thank him for these words. Um, but your latter shall be greater than your former. God took me to Haggai today. We're going to be in Haggai. And in my second video, we're going to be in Zechariah. But we're going to talk about when the Lord came to the prophet Haggai in chapter two. And he comes to, um, in the second year of King David on the 13th, on the 21st day of the seventh month, the word of the Lord came through the prophet Haggai. So he comes to talk to the prophet and he speaks to Zerubbabel, uh, um, the governor of Judah. And he says to him, um, in a little while, I once more will shake the heaven and earth. The sea and the dry ground sounds like what's going on right now in the hurricanes and all the disasters all over the world. But, he's, but he says, I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land. I will shake all the nations, all the nations, and what is desired by all the nations will come. And I will fill this house with my glory, says the Lord Almighty. This part, the silver is mine. The gold is mine, declares the Lord. The glory of this present house will be greater than the glory of the former house, says the Lord Almighty. And in this place, I will grant peace, declares the Lord Almighty. Let me break it down to you and let me share the word of God for you today. So we have um, the prophet, he comes, he says, listen, this is what the Lord is say, saying. Some things are going to get shaky. Some things are going to get rocky for the nations around, right? But don't worry about that. Don't worry about them getting shaky because I am going to fill this house with my glory. He says, and the present house, which you guys know was the palace, I'm sorry, the temple that Solomon had built and all of its splendor and all of its glory. And I went to... Um, uh, the Bible Museum, and I was able to see the temple. It was huge. It was beautiful. Um, but God says, it's going to be even better than that, is what he's telling them. He says, the former, this present house, will be greater than the former house, says the Lord Almighty. He says, and then this place, I will grant peace. So what is God saying to you? Let me grab my notes. What is God saying to you? God is saying, I'm encouraging you to keep going. I'm encouraging you to keep believing for marriage. I'm encouraging you to keep working on your goals and that business plan that I'm giving you. I'm encouraging you to not grow weary in your well-doing. 
God is saying, in this time, my spirit and my presence is going to take over. It's going to come and my glory is going to fill your life and fill your marriage and fill that relationships. And he's saying, I must, all the other nations are going to be shaken up, but I'm going to make you so desirable. Your marriage is going to be desirable. He said that all the nations are going to desire you because they're going to be tired of the commotion. They're going to be tired of the hell that they're going through. And he says, the silver and gold belongs to me. God is saying the silver and the gold belongs to you, me. That's why we must honor God with our silver and gold. Why? Because he's saying, I own all of it anyway. And in this moment, we see that the Jews were silenced by this prophecy because they had been, you know, trying to do things in their own strength and they didn't see how they will rebuild the temple, right? And you didn't know how you were going to rebuild your life. But God is saying, well, guess what? My presence and my spirit is going to be all up in this thing. And you better believe this prophecy because some things are going to be shaken up, but I'm going to fill this house with my glory. And this relationship is going to be way better than your last relationship. This marriage is going to be way better. Don't even worry. You're going to be happy that your marriage will make everyone love God, right? When they see you rebuilding your life, with the presence of the Lord and the glory of the Lord on that thing. When they see that all these prophetic words are working in your life, he says, oh, the latter shall be greater than your former. He says, I know that the temple is all in rubble right now. I know that the relationship is all in rubble. He said, but let me encourage you to keep on going. So I am simply here to let you know that I know you've been through a lot in that past relationship. And it always seems as though everything seems to just crumble up part in your life, but be encouraged because it's not always going to be like that. Someone needs some encouragement today, but what you need to know is that the God says that I have to fill it with my presence. What you're missing in your life is not money. What you're missing in your life is not a man. What you're missing in your life is the presence of the Lord. You need the glory of the Lord because he said the silver and gold is mine. The things of the earth and the land is mine, but you are missing my friend my presence and my presence is going to be all over that thing and you are going to see the glory of the lord and you're going to see the nations around you shake and want what you want what you have so the lord says peace is on the way his presence is on the way to fix and clean up and help you rebuild in Jesus' name, somebody say it with me. If you felt led to sow into this word, actually, put a word on it when you sow on to God and say, my ladder is about to be greater than my former, better than yesterday, better than what I had yesterday, better, new, afresh is here. I love you, family. Stick around for my next word. Talk to you soon.